Now, how to draw a spider. I know it freaks some people out. Um, There's a cute little spider that looks a little bit like the spider that bit Peter Barker. I'm going to draw him and then the last one that I drew, the, the how to draw a lizard, I'm going to put the two together and form a picture making the two. But this time it's how to draw a spider. Enjoy. I don't think I got a really good look at that spider but I think I've got enough to go on. So, fresh sheet of paper, pencil, it's like a 4B pencil and here we go. The head's going to be here, the abdomen is going to be here. So all those two parts of a spider. And this head bit here, it's like a, a crab shell on top, so there's a carapace there on top. And underneath there, if we draw, space them out a bit, four little circles. That's the joins where it goes in. So the front part of the spider is very much like a crab, and the back end is a big puffy abdomen. You've got to be very careful not to get scratched. I'm going to put another couple circles there, that's for the palps, and one, two, three, fourth is hiding behind there, four out there as well. Now this guy's carapace was sort of like that, it sort of smoothed off there, went up and then over, so I'm going to try and get that, and his eyes were up high. Two of the eyes being bigger than the others. I'm doing some sort of letter C's there. Just going to shade around. But this spider, she had an array of eyes. Just a dark spot there. Go on there. So I'm going to try and make this look like the top of the head. What's going to help here is probably a shiny bit like that. Now the interesting thing is these palps at the front, they look a bit like praying mantis front legs. So they went up, they curved around like this, curved like this too. So if you look on the side, it's like a big question mark. Now I'm going to put the legs in. I think I'll probably need to put the circle here a bit bigger now. big part there, small part coming out there. I sort of have little bits of the joins. They usually have about three parts, three long parts and lots of little joins between. There's one leg. So the other leg's going to go about here, 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 and over here. So I just very roughly Mark in where the leg's going to go, and you just go over it here. Up there, I might actually bring that into there. Back legs aren't quite as big. Front legs, the front couple of legs seem to be the biggest here. Right, so here we go. Long bit. Couple of joiny bits, long bit, pointy bit. How about that? It's a good way of remembering it. So, a long bit, this must be his femur. Joiny bit on the knees, another long bit, and a sharp pointy bit. It's easy to remember. Try again, long bit. Curved bit, long bit, pointy bit. Very crab like. So I did that, I just put a line there. That's basically where I'm going to put all their knees. Don't like the way it's just straight, so I might put a little bit of a bend in it. So I'm allowed to change my mind. Long bit. Bit of a join, long bit, pointy bit, long bit, bit of a join, long bit, 
quite a bit. There we're getting there. Now I think what I'm going to have to do is chunk up some of the legs a bit. They're probably looking a bit slim. That doesn't really matter, depends on what's body you're doing. It's going on the outside, I'm just popping a little bit of shade. Both sides like that. And on the outside. A little bit of shade like that. See how I've got workings out. I just tend to just to draw over it, don't care. When I look at my notes here, just on the back legs, so there's a little bit of black on that bit there. All the rest of them were those two end joins were black, but on this one there's black and then there is a little black in the middle of bright red. So make sure I get that in here. Some part of this cool spider. I might add some colour to this. darkening around the legs here where it joins in with the carapace. I'll make sure I've got this little bit of a, a dip in a dip in there. The abdomen there's a dark patch there. And a couple of light spots either side. The rest of it I'm gonna give it a good shading. Such an awesome looking spider, I want to throw a bit of colour on this. I'm going to do this with a bit of watercolour. And today I'm using watercolour basically just to colour in. For watercolour you've always got to leave a bit of white. Heaps of water to the background, and so unfortunately, wherever I touch the blue because it's so intense, it sort of bleeds out. So, I've got to try and watch that, but I can fix that up later. And that's how to draw a spider. Now, the next video I'm going to do is the lizard and the spiders together. I'm going to construct them together, but I'm also going to use Indian ink. And so it's going to be another little tutorial on using ink. I might show you a few little tricks there. It's probably going to be a bit more advanced, but check it out. You might enjoy it. So the next one I'm going to do is lizard versus spider. And I think we know who's going to win. <laughs>